Not a day goes by do we hear about yet another data breach, a new hack, or some kind of virus, social media scam, or other cybersecurity threat. And guess what? It's not just the big companies at risk, but individuals too. And not just on computers anymore, but on smartphones and tablets as well. Hey everyone, welcome to Gear Up, the Watch Mojo series that looks at the latest in tech. I'm Mark Saltzman, and in this video, we're going to look at five ways to avoid getting hacked and attacked in today's digital age. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Number one, the first thing you need to do proactively, in case you're ever a victim of a cyber attack, is to back up your important files on a regular basis. It doesn't really matter how you do it, it could be a free cloud service, an external hard drive, or a USB thumb drive, but as long as you do something, you'll minimize the damage done after getting hit with a virus, ransomware, a phishing scam, and so on. On all of your devices, like smartphones, tablets, laptops, and desktops, back up your files regularly, just in case. If you back up files to an external hard drive, it's recommended to make a duplicate or triplicate onto additional drives just in case one drive fails in the future. And keep them in different places instead of in the same room as your computer because in the event of a flood or fire, your backup could be destroyed along with the original. Oh, four! I mean five! I mean fire! Number two, on all of your devices, you need good anti-malware, which is short for malicious software. Just as you wouldn't leave the front door to your home unlocked, you shouldn't let yourself be vulnerable to attacks on your digital devices. There are many threats out there today, so you need to have reliable anti-malware installed. Personally, I use ESET Internet Security, as it's available for multiple devices, including Android phones. It runs quietly in the background, yet can still identify, quarantine, and delete any suspicious activity. Number three, have good passwords for all of your online activity. A good password is at least seven characters long and a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols. When logging into web services, opt for two-step authentication, which means you'll not only need your password to access your online account, but also a one-time code sent to your mobile phone to confirm it's really you. Speaking of your mobile device, be sure to log on with a PIN code, password, pattern, or biometrics login, like using your fingertip or an iris scan, to confirm it's really you. Number 4. On your smartphone, set up Remote Wipe, if you haven't done so already. If your device goes missing, you can remotely lock it, display a message like, please call me for a reward, wipe the data clean, or track it on a map. But you need to set this all up ahead of time. Free services include Find My Phone for iPhone and iPad and Android Device Manager for all Android devices from the likes of Samsung, Huawei, LG, Motorola, HTC, Sony, and so on. Always work with authorities to retrieve a stolen phone rather than attempting to retrieve it on your own. Number 5. Be cautious with public Wi-Fi. Airports, hotels, and coffee shops may offer free Wi-Fi, but keep in mind that these are sometimes a target by cyber thieves out to steal your data. Good anti-malware can detect and stop an intruder, and to err on the side of caution, only stick to basic tasks, like reading the news or streaming music. Another tip, consider using a VPN or virtual private network on all your devices, so you can browse the web anonymously and thus fly under a hacker's radar. Or use your smartphone's cellular connection as a personal hotspot to access the internet. And finally, common sense prevails too. If you get an email, text message, or pop-up window from a company that asks you to confirm personal or financial information, even if it looks legit, it's likely a scam, so don't reply and don't tap or click on any link or attachment in the message. Your bank, internet service provider, or payment service like PayPal will never ask you to confirm sensitive information like this. When in doubt, call your bank or credit card company directly. On a related note, if someone calls you and says they're from, say, Microsoft or your IT department, and they say they detected a problem and they need you to follow some instructions to fix it, it's also a scam. So hang up on them immediately. Bottom line, between some good passwords, great software, and applying a little common sense, you can remain protected from the many different cyber threats out there today. Hey, thanks for watching Gear Up. I'm Mark Saltzman. Let us know in the comments section what tech products you'd like us to review going forward on Watch Mojo. And for more techtastic lists, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Ciao for now.
Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.